All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be painting up a Night Lord uh, Terminator. Uh, first things first, I want to apologize for the messy background. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm working on a Necron army. Uh, and secondly, um, I know in the last video I mentioned we would be painting a Jakari Archon next. But I really wasn't feeling the Jakari Archon, and I didn't want to put out a half-assed video for you guys, so instead we're doing this. I started with a black primer, the standard Leho black surface primer. And now this is a mix of 50-50 uh, Corvus Black and Night Lord's Blue. Now we're going to do a rough highlight of with pure Night Lord's Blue. We're going to water that down. And we're just going to highlight all the edges. Uh, for the shoulder pads, you want to do a more circular motion to, because it's a much more rounded surface. Now we're going to go in with Night Lord's Blue mixed in with uh, Thunderhawk Blue, 50-50. And we're going to go in about, cover about half of the highlight we just did with this color. Once that's done, we're going to come in with Decayed Metal from Scale 75. We're going to do the trim. If this was a squad sergeant or a, uh, a chaos lord, I would probably do I probably do the trim in uh, black metal from scale 75. I much it looks really good uh, when you do a silver trim with the blue armor and then you do a blue shade over this over the trim. It looks really nice. Now we're gonna come in and do the chain mail as well as any pipes pipe connectors, the trophy rack on top. We're going to come in uh, with the black metal from Scale 75. And I apologize uh, like, again uh, for the when the model goes out of focus a lot. It's because of my messy background. I really should have cleaned up my work area a bit more. But I was already behind schedule making this video. So... Also, I almost forgot, uh, the loincloth and all the cloth is Word Bearer's Red. We're basing that on Word Bearer's Red. Now we're going to go through, we're going to paint the little hair trophies, scalps probably, uh, with Rhinox hide. There's one on his side, and there's also one down under his groin that I didn't bother picking up because the camera couldn't get it. The skulls and any skin on the model, I'm going to paint in Rakarth flesh. And then the skulls specifically, and any bones, I will be painting over with Skeleton Horde. Now I'm washing the entire model uh, with Drakonoff Nightshade. The only things we want to avoid are the red cloth because we don't want uh, well, we want that to be pure red. We don't want there to be any blue or purple from the shade. This will help tie all the different colors on the armor together. We don't want to be too heavy with it. We just want a nice light coat. Or not really a light coat, but we we want a light wash on it. We don't want to completely soak it. And now we're going to go through and we're going to do uh, some selective edge highlights. Uh, uh, you know, as we, it's me. You know, as usual, with selective edge highlights. I don't highlight the whole thing. And we're going to go back to scaled 75's uh, decayed metal. As you can see, you can kind of see the after effects of the wash on the scale on the decayed metal. It really darkened it down, it gave it a nice blue tint. Now we're going to use Mornfang Brown, and we're going to edge highlight all the hair trophies. And we're going to go and use Mephiston Red to edge or to edge highlight, excuse me, the loincloths and the cloths on the shoulder pauldrons.
and we're going to do a edge highlight on the lightning claws. We're going to just use black metal again. We're going to do all the hard edges. And this is just a quick show before we do the lightning. I am not a fan of how my lightning turned out on this model. I usually do a more physical effect. I usually use wires uh, to create a physical lightning effect, but in this case I wanted to do a more traditional. So we're going to start, we're going to sketch out the lightning with Lothar and Blue, uh, thin down just a little bit. We're just going to do j like little jagged movements. And then we're going to do the same thing with Ceramite White, but we're going to focus solely on where the lightning paths diverge and closer towards the bottoms of the lightning as well. And this is our finished Night Lord's Terminator. I did not show the face. Uh, we'll do a future video on that. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.